Hey Ninja Warriors, welcome to Warrior Wednesday. It's July 1st. June is completely over. July 1st, month of July is the month of freedom. Freedom. If you live in the US, July 4th is right around the corner. It's on Saturday. And if you know the movie Braveheart, it is freedom. You know what I'm talking about. You know the reference. Um, so we're officially done with June. Six months are gone, <laughs> believe it or not. 2020, six months is completely over. Now we're moving into uh, our final stretch. Now, I can't say final stretch. We still have like six more months to go or five and five months-ish, right? So we still have some time, but time went by anyway. Time is going to go by regardless whether we are present to it or not. So uh, so that's where we're at. And who would have imagined that 2020 would go go by so quickly? I mean, it, it June flew by very quickly. And I want to acknowledge that last week I did not do a Facebook live although I had every intention to I had a super abundant plate and uh, did not I was not in the space to actually uh, be on here live and, and connect with you guys so my bad and I'm excited to be with you today and beyond today is a new day it's uh, Wednesday it's July July 1st first of the month beginning of the month new possibilities new opportunities new everything so if you're on here live give yourself some hearts and comment below so I can see you and uh, welcome you. And if you're catching the replay, comment with hashtag Encore so I can acknowledge you as well. So I want to share something real quick before I jump into the topic of today, which is creating value. So this past weekend, I attended a workshop called Shift. It was a two-day workshop. It was a Saturday and a Sunday. And it was in the realm of emotional intelligence and leadership and also mindset. There was a lot of mindset conversation that was going on. Uh, it very, very experiential. So it's not like it's a lecture, very experiential. And the trainer uh, who facilitated is a really good friend of mine. His name is Chris Hawker. He's freaking amazing. And uh, here's why I'm sharing this with you. So I've been in the realm of uh, leadership, emotional intelligence, etc. for the past uh, actually three years, three years, like, you know, literally three years. And I went in um, with a humble heart and noble mind and I also went in with uh, coming from a space of humble curiosity here's why I'm sharing this with you because you don't know we don't know what we don't know and if you walk in thinking like you know everything you're not gonna learn anything when you walk in thinking like oh I've seen this I already know this you already limited your possibility of growing and expanding your plate because you already know it so if you're a know-it-all if you know what I'm saying I used to be that person by the way that's why I can I can call it out because I can see I used to be that person like I already know this stuff I don't need to whatever but but here's the thing here's where creating value is important is because when you come in with a humble heart or you come I believe I'm a student of life okay so if you're a student of life say I'm a student of life I am truly am a student of life and I'm here to learn in COVID what COVID did this year is it taught us how to uh, redesign we reinvent pivot shift in ways that we didn't even think was possible and really the intention of the uh, workshop that i att attended this past weekend was to look at opportunities to shift in a space of uh, COVID and all the, the uncertainty that's been going on so if you want to know more details about what shift is um Comment below and I'm happy to hook you up and give you details on what that looks like um, and uh, support you with that because it's, it was such an amazing two-day training and so many things opened up. So anyway, so what I wanted to speak into is value. Are you creating value for yourself and are you creating value for other people? So my question for you is, as we um, you know have this conversation, is are you being part of the solution or are you being part of the problem? So you get to ask yourself, am I part of the problem or am I part of the solution? How do you know if you're part of the problem or you're part of the solution? Okay. Okay. So if you know, let me know because I, you know, I don't know if, if you can comment so I can see. But here's how you know. Um, if you're finding yourself in, a, in a, a space of your judgment, you're judging, you're assessing, you're blaming, you're complaining, uh, you're pointing fingers, you're actually part of the problem. I hate to say it. I mean, with love, if you're finding yourself, whatever, whatever topic it is, if you're finding yourself in that energy, you are part of the problem. You are, you know, with love. Um, and, and so... Um, um, here's how you know you're part of the solution. 
if you're finding yourself seeing something that you don't like or you're totally like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. I don't like anything about this. But you're finding yourself in, in the solution. You're being part of the solution. Here's how you be part of the solution is you connect with people. You find out how you can create a change. You start with you changing yourself internally and then you cause the change around you. So you're facilitating shifts not only in yourself, you're also facilitating shifts with other people around you and you're facilitating. Hey, Latisse, hey, buddy, good to, good to see you. Yay, my buddy's on your live. Yay, woohoo, love it. So awesome. So, so, um, so, so you're facilitating, you're facilitating shifts. So if you're finding yourself facilitating, shifting yourself, shifting other people, you're actually part of the solution. You're not part of the problem. So you get to identify what, where are you on the spectrum? And I don't want you to judge yourself, by the way. So be, I want you, I want you to be in the just notice moment. Just notice where are you on the spectrum? Are you finding yourself being in a lot of energy of blaming, shaming, etc.? Or are you finding yourself in the energy of, okay, I'm not liking what I'm seeing, but I'm really committed to shifting what's going on here. So which side are you? Where are you? Okay. So here's why I'm sharing this. I want to share a quick story. So COVID happened. Gym's closed. My gym is still closed, by the way. I live in New Jersey. My gym is still closed. So what do I do? Reinvent. We reinvent. That's what entrepreneurs do is we reinvent, we re redesign, we shift, we pivot. Okay. So uh, many of you know that I did 100 burpees in 100 days. I actually completed my 100, bur 100 burpee, 100 day challenge last week. So thank God that's over. Um, I'm still doing burpees, but not as intense as like every day, 100 burpees, 100 days and all that stuff. But here's what it taught me. It taught me to be intentional it taught me to be rigorous it taught me to um commit to following through even when i didn't feel like it i mean guys if you've done burpees if you've done a burpee you know what i'm talking about so if, comment below if you've done burpees so i know if you did or you didn't um burpees are not easy okay i'm just saying okay um and a lot of my clients that I work with, as I'm sure you know, I work with clients and I support them with mindset, effectiveness, um, business coaching. These are things I work with my clients on. And I have clients who are completely rocking it out in their businesses. They're rocking it out. They're creating results. And more importantly, they're creating an impact to the people that they're serving. And there are a, there's a, a camp of people that are in breakdown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so... Um, you know, and who, how are you creating value, right? You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm working with a trainer. I will share this with you. I'm working with a trainer and I released 20 pounds since COVID happened. So I share this with you for a very specific reason. So yes, I hired a trainer, but if I didn't do the work, I would have never gotten the result. That's the reality. That's the bottom line. Okay. And the same thing with my clients, my clients, when I coach them, they're executing. So when they execute, when you execute, you get, res you receive results, you create results. But when you don't execute, you don't, you don't get anything. And if you're in the space of like, oh, I, d I paid for this, but I didn't get anything from it. Well, what action have you taken? What have you taken you know what I'm saying like what steps have you taken to actually cause are you creating value for yourself value are you creating value so I like creating value is coming in being an ownership being responsible that's really what I mean by creating value is being an ownership being responsible committed to seeing your result through all the way to the end even when you don't feel like it even when the going gets tough because guess what guys the going is going to get tougher. I mean, I, I hate to say it. I'm being, uh, being honest here. Like COVID has taught us a lot of things. And if we're not, uh, capable of shifting quickly and being creative and thinking on our feet, like, you know what I'm saying? Like we live in a world now where things get shift really quickly and to be creative is one of the biggest assets that you can have in this moment. Okay. So here are a couple of things I'm going to share with you, uh, regarding you creating value for yourself. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Um, Check in with your attitude and your mindset. What kind of attitude do you have about what's going on? What's your mindset about it? Like, what kind of conversation are you having? Are you creating value? Uh, secondly, get grounded in your vision. Do you even have a vision? 2020 vision. What is your vision? Okay. Um, and um, I, there are a few things I'm going to do with ne next week because I want to wrap this up. Okay. Because I want to keep this short. All right. So here's your mission for this week is... I want you to share what your attitude is or what your attitude has been. What is the one thing that you, uh, that's been bugging you that you want to, uh, shift and how are you, how are you, what's your mindset around that? I want you to share what your mindset is around that. Okay. So comment below, share. 
tag people that you feel will make a difference for. Reach out to me if you know if you want to learn how to shift because there's so many things, so many tools I can offer you. So let me know if you want support with that and I'm happy to support you, okay? All right, guys, love you. Thank you for tuning in. See you next week, part two of this series. Um, same time, same station, Warrior Wednesday, one o'clock Pacific, four o'clock Eastern, right? Mwah. Bye, see you later.